approximately 365 days ago, I got my DGX 670. This keyboard packs a punch. And today, I'm gonna to show you where all the treasure is buried. For those of you who are curious to know what exactly can this do? Where's all the treasure? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna start off by playing a few sounds uninterrupted. We're gonna start off going through the voices and then the styles. But for now, I wanna give you a quick idea about the body. This is an 88 weighted key keyboard, just like a piano, like over here. I've got a kawaii piano. I know how pianos feel and I know how they sound. Now, while there are other keyboards, such as the one behind me, the Motif XF8, which has a brilliant piano sound, a cut above this, I want you to know that the piano sound on this is customizable. You can EQ it in different ways and you can put reverb on it in different ways. Let's take it for a quick test spin before I show you a few other things. And that's the power in the pianos on this machine. Not only does it have a robust physical body, it has a robust piano sound. And that's why I'll be holding on to this keyboard for some time to come. Now, all you heard was a CFX Grand. I could actually layer pianos to give a fuller, richer, thicker sound. So if I go over to layer, and in layer, I choose a different piano, like the DX Ballad Bells. If I layer that, with my CFX piano, it gives a more robust sound like this.
rich sound. The options are endless. If I choose to layer a nice lush string bed on top of that DX piano, you have something like this. And I mean, the options are endless when it comes to string pads. Take a look at this. Now those kind of command attention, but you've got other string sounds that are not as demanding, something softer. Just a little demo of what exactly you can do with this machine. As I said in the beginning, the body is rather robust. This is not a keyboard a kid can carry themselves, except they're big, strong kids, right? It takes a man to at least lift it conveniently. This is not like your PS. Our SX series that are so easy to grab, just five octaves. No, this is just like real piano keys. Okay, durable. This is like wood, 
We've got plastic here. We've got really good speakers, you know, that can play out. And behind here, we have the opportunities to plug in microphones, instruments, USB, which is how I'm recording this right now, and a lot more. So this keyboard packs a punch. When it comes to some of the fancier things this can do, I'll go into that right now. If you go over to menu, and this tab over here, if you see what I'm doing here, coming down to Bluetooth, I can actually pair my Bluetooth from my phone with this. So if I wanted to play some tracks from my Spotify, I could go over to Spotify and I could play some of my favorite music. So let's see what this plays. You're gonna hear it play right out. Let's play the new Face of Jazz, my last album. Let's see what it does. But now it's playing the album right out. You can play along, you know. So that's it, playing right out into the keyboard, that's crazy. So if you were to do this, you could play music from your source and practice along and have it right there at your fingertips. That's one of the crazy things that this keyboard does really well. In addition to that, you got a socket where you can record what you do on this keyboard and convert it to WAV file. You can also play loops that you have in the right format by plugging in the USB and playing the loops right out of here through the keyboard. And you can have the loop just play in the background. So if you've got a beat that you want that this has no style for, just put it in there, or the whole accompaniment, or even vocals. You could put in looped vocals, and then you could just sync them up with the right tempo. The, the opportunities are just endless. It's truly mind-blowing. But beyond all that, it is a durable body keyboard. If what you're doing is performing live, you're performing live, let's talk about the sounds that you typically would look for. You would look for p piano, there's your piano, let's come out of this. Okay, there's your piano. Very good pianos. What about electric piano? Suitcase EP? Someone says that reverb doesn't do it for me, Phil. All right, check this out. Going over to the effect page. Put some reverb on that puppy.
and you can control it just at the snap of a finger. You also have Vintage EP. Smooth Tine. If you've got headphones on, you can actually hear it panning back and forth. Sounds so good. You gotta put headphones on, I tell you. Electric piano. Another one with really good padding. Tremolo suitcase. So for you pianists, you like that action, you know, from like a real piano, this will do it for you. And all 88 keys, there's no compromise here, it's, it's the, the full kit and caboodle. That's what excited me about this piano. I actually have a video <laughs> that shows the day I came across this keyboard at Guitar Center for the first time. I just it was a no-brainer. At that time, there was a, a deal going, it was like 750 or so. And I just knew there's just no way I was gonna leave that keyboard at 750. And I traded in my old keyboard. I had two old keyboards, traded those in, traded in a few things. I came down to about 100 at the end of the day. I mean, it was a no-brainer. It's one of the best buys, if not my best buy ever from Guitar Center, because I know that this keyboard packs a punch. I think Yamaha must have, they must have been in a good mood <laughs> the day they came out with this thing. Oh dear. Piano Orchestra. so great piano control compared if I may say to even the Genos I know my Genos friends aren't gonna like it but that's the sacrifice that you made to have that keyboard it's not having this brilliant awesome piano feel I mean I I could play the pianos all day like when you when you do this right when you go to the original CFX Grand, and then you layer another piano on it, like the rock piano, for example, and then you come over to the mixer section and go over to volume and pan, and when you pan these pianos, put the CFX on that side, put the rock piano on that side, for the layer and then you find a kind of happy medium like an L28 and an R28 so they're kind of like that y-shaped and then when you come over to the effect and you put a, a good dose of the hall let's see what's here so let's get some reverb Okay, let's go to 
large hall. Let's go back up to large hall and let's go back in there. Check it out. Hear that? <laughs> I gotta play some more piano for you just to demonstrate the versatility. You, you saw how I just customized that on the fly, just easily. All right, and to be quite honest, it's okay to feel like you're missing out, okay? Because I know some of you are so proficient, but you're holding on to the resistance. <laughs> you don't want to get this because you've already got a keyboard, but I'm telling you, the price point is very, very appetizing. I think these keyboards, when Yamaha is done making them, I think they're going to be around at a much higher price than most keyboards because of this, this functionality. The piano, the Bluetooth, the ability to record to wave, the ability to put a mic in. I actually plugged my guitar in a, a few days ago and it, it sounded really good just coming out directly from the keyboard. It's kind of bananas, isn't it? I mean, I, I could give you a demo if, if you think I'm... <laughs> If you think I'm making this up, I'm not making this up. Have you ever heard of have you ever heard of a guitar going into a keyboard and being able to put like reverb or chorus? I mean let me give you a quick demo because scene is believing. I know some of you some of you don't believe what I'm saying. 
an excuse to scuffle and the sounds uh, I've got to make them when sorry about that but I'm just gonna plug it in so that you can hear the quality of the instrument what comes out so let's see if I can guess <laughs> the entry point you can already hear it can't you isn't that sick that's coming through the keyboard and imagine if you needed to do a jam let's put something fun on put on the accompaniment Turn it up, goes up, you hear that? The other crazy thing, I can pan it like this. Gone all the way to the right now. Needs to be tuned. <laughs> But anyway, you get you get the idea. So much you can do with it. Okay, I have to demo that better for you one of these days, but if you had a different instrument and you needed to bring it into this environment, you know, you could do that. And I mean, get really brilliant sound nonetheless. I didn't have the opportunity to show you how to put on the reverb and the other effects, but you could, you could do that as well. It's pretty wild, pretty wild. So if you're on the fence regarding this machine, let me impress upon you to act fast before, you know, they become even harder to find. Right now, you can still find them, you know, at a decent price. But in the passage of time, I really don't imagine these are going to stay at this ridiculously competitive price, you know. And I know there's probably going to be more DGXs coming out, but who knows, you know, who knows what's going to happen. So I did promise I would do a few styles. So let's do some styles.
All right, so regardless what you want to do with the keyboard, whether you want to use it for playing live or playing to amuse friends and family, whatever the case, it packs a punch. Okay, allergies kind of kicking in. I'm going to play the demo. I'm going to go take care of this nose. And when I come back, we're going to continue the journey. But for now, let me hit you with a demo. But well, there you have it, the demo. Alright. <laughs> it could just go on and on playing, but just a little showcase in the power of the DGX. I've shown you the pianos, it has some organs as well. So that's that. All sorts of organs. Jazz accordion. Uh, what else? A section of basses, electric bass. Got uh, slap bass. Let's see what else. We got uh, acoustic bass. And some other bases for like hip hop stuff. All right, it's slightly panned to the right, so if you're wearing headphones, you're probably experiencing it panned. And uh, let's see if I can get it back to <laughs> back to normal. Okay, so that's the external stuff. It's it's such a condensed maze of stuff that sometimes I actually forget how to get back to where I was. So, 
I'm all over the place trying to <laughs> searching for home. When in doubt, the cool thing, you can always just turn it off so that it goes back to what it was because the... The reverb and some other bits and pieces, they get lost. So let me do a little reset. All right, so it's so easy to make music with this thing. Um, apart from the piano, the organs, the guitars, and the basses, you got the strings and the choirs. I didn't even play the choirs. You got some of the choirs. voices and other little things here and there I mean you got you got so much you got an entire orchestra here check this out You got all sorts here. You got the brass and the woodwind. You got the percussion, like vibraphone. You release your in a Gary Burton. It's got some really nice sounds. And for the drums, I've demoed this on the channel before. You got more modern sounds, like the hip hop kit. and so on and so forth. Okay, and the synth pads. large, expansive sounds. say this wheel 
it has it clearly written pitch bend they want you to know it's not for modulation so for those of you modulation freaks <laughs> I'm sorry this doesn't do it I guess you could kind of fake it but that would be sad terrible so well I think it's time to shut it down I'll try to do this again thank you I'll see you soon and don't forget to hit the like button and share with your DGX friends.